Hello all my crafty friends, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit, and today I am going over um, my 2020 goals. I kind of wanted to do kind of like an audit of what my goals were when I first started this year and kind of see where I'm at, maybe tweak some things and um, kind of revamp my goals to be more specific. So. I'm going to go over what I have. Um, now, the beginning of the year, I went super strong with the just the scrapbooking game. Like, I was getting so many layouts out. And then I kind of slowed down, probably about like May. And it's been a crazy summer. And just working from home, um, which I will talk about. Uh, has definitely changed my space per se. So the first um, goal or uh, goal that I had to was to reorganize and or paint and decorate my space. That is no longer happening this year. I think I'm gonna have to reevaluate because I, like I said, am working from home and I cannot, I'm sharing this space with my with my desk from my desk at work and my business and just like everything. So this room is really a multi-purpose room and I really need to see where I'm at at the end of the year. Uh, we are working from home until the end of the year, uh, which is good and I'm very grateful for it. Um, but I just, I don't want to do anything yet. Um, I might change like some bins. I do have some cute bins that I got from Michael's. So I will be changing those up and kind of redoing my closet because um, that space is definitely needed. And I did add some storage um, to my craft space. So that is another thing. I do want to organize all my stickers and stuff and just all of my stuff. And I have done that. Now, the thing is, is that when I was doing it, I wasn't really going through everything to see if I like it. Um, so that is definitely one of my goals this year to finish, um, to kind of go through an embellishment every month and just, or, um, you know, some kind of organization thing every single month and just flip through and just see if I like anything. I did that for my, uh, October or my Halloween stuff. I started working on it and I was like, you know what, let me just go through and kind of see what I have. And it was just like, I got rid of some things that I just, I'm not going to use. And now I have space to get other things. So that'll definitely be still included. I will try to make some videos for you. I think I have some of my Halloween stuff. I will show you guys. Um, the other thing is, is that I want to, I had a budget. And so my budget was $25. And what I was realizing was that come like June or July, I wasn't scrapbooking a lot, but I was spending a lot. I was buying a lot of things and just online purchases and just a lot of things that I liked. And I was enabled <laughs> by hauls on YouTube. So I have kind of slowed back on the hauls. Um, I'm really intentional. intentional ugh, I cannot talk. I really intend when I watch YouTube to watch something that I'm either going to um, just enjoy like a processing video to get an idea or um, maybe like a goals video which is where I got this idea I was watching um, some people's goals videos for their um, last month. So I still am going to have a budget however. I'm not going to have a no spend budget because I realized that if I put that on myself, I am going to go crazy. And I figured this would be kind of fun to do, to do like a budget scrap um, haul or something like that to kind of show you guys what you guys can get with um, some like a budget. So right now I have mine at $25. I might do like $25 to like $35. Um, I'm still not like 100% sure, but after this video, I will for sure have it stuck up like this is how much you spend. Now, it will not include things that I need like glue, um, uh, paper, like regular like cardstock paper, um, not like uh, pattern paper. Um, what else? 
any kind of supplies that I need. Um, albums and um, page protectors. I was like, there's something else. <laughs> so the next goal was um, layouts. Now I didn't have a, I didn't have a goal. I just wanted to kind of see what I had. Um, and you can see, like, I started out really strong. I started with, like, started with, like, 25 layouts. And then I, and then May came, and it just went, I mean, I'm pretty sure I did some layouts. It just wasn't a whole lot. So I'm going to try to revamp this. I do have some goals up here, which I will show you guys um, what I have. And then this right here is actually, um, like, a gift list projects. Um, I will be redoing this because I did do some, however, um, a lot of these, like Stella's first year and second year, I do want to include to do. So there will be some of those that I'll be doing. Um, and then I do have a layout challenge. Um, I want to try to do one of these every single month, um, to at least like try to use up some things. Um, that'll be incorporated into my goals as well. So um, I'm keeping this as reference for the year. Um, you can see right here I started pretty strong on this. But um, I kind of want to revamp and really focus my time in this room. So, or what my intentional time in this room. So my goals for this year, I have this book that I'm just like, using to write down some thoughts. I'm actually going to use, um, put some of this in there just so that way I have it. And I am going to make it like a little bit easier for me to track because this is, a, it's, a, it's here, but I don't always gravitate to it. So this I will gravitate towards, um, if it's on my desk. So these are going to be my goals for this year. So I have used up at least one paper pad or collection per month. So this can be for anything, um, making cards, making layouts. Um, I would really like to use at least one paper pad. Um, and this can be any kind of size paper pad. So, um, I have mostly 12 by 12s, but I do have some six by six. So I would love to use some of those as well. Um, this one right here, it says use at least one embellishment. So I, I don't know why I have stickers, but like I, because I have another one down here that is for stickers, but this is going to be for like washi tape, um, you know, tags, just really focusing in what I, what I want to use up, um, for the month. So using at least one embellishment, um, and I will go through that, like what I kind of have. So say for instance, I have, I have just right here, like these BB, um, cut aparts. So I will give myself a goal of using at least like half and then, um, seeing what I can do with it, what I can create with it and using it up. Um, I don't necessarily want to use it all up, but if I know like what I will do is I'll go through it. If I know I'm not going to use it, I will share it with somebody else because, um, I just will. And then, um, I will use the rest of it. Sorry. I got sidetracked. So the next thing is, um, making layouts. So I have, um, 10 layouts here. And so that's 10 layouts a month. And then I want to make at least five base page layouts because what my goal is, is to do, um, some, uh, I only have a couple of hours to scrapbook. So my goal is to, if I want to, I want to put up some videos and I think it would be really cool if I already have the layout, like the base done and show you guys how to add more embellishments to it or to make it your own. So five base page layouts and then, um, make five cards a month. Um, of course this could be more using the paper pad, but my goal is at least five cards per month. And these are going to be for my customers, for family and, um, just like thank you cards. 
to give out um, to people. So um, I would like to one day sell my cards. A lot of people said that I should sell my cards and that is a goal of mine in the future to open up my own shop. But for now, five cards a month is what my goal is. Um, so the next goal is to use up at least one to two or two to three sticker sheets. I have a lot of sticker sheets. I have so many sticker sheets that I need to use. So um, I, w I really, really want to use two to three up. And so this can be part of a collection. This can be, you know, just like anything. So that's why I got rid of, I should cross out the sticker sheets up here. So the next one is um, clean and organize once a month. I got this from another YouTuber and she does it um, every single month. She like cleans her space and I just find that sometimes you just need to do that. And um, it would be nice uh, to show you guys what I'm working on throughout the week and kind of just, even if it's for like 15 minutes, clean up my space. Um, the next one is to finish years 2017 and 2018. I think I'm almost done 2017, but 2018 is still in the making, and then I still have 19 and 20, of course. Um, so then I still have to create at least one kit a month using my stash. So this will be fun. This will be, um something to kind of just use my stash up. I do love using kits, homemade kits, and kind of mixing and matching my stuff up. So creating at least one kit. I don't have to necessarily use it. I just want to create it um, and kind of, if I'm not in the mood to scrapbook, this would be something that I could do in my scrapbook room. Um, the next one is use my Cricut at least once a month. Um, I... <laughs> I've had my Cricut for over a year now, and I've only used it like maybe twice. So I really want to like learn how to make um, cut file, like do cut files and use those, and really use like my machine more than what I have been. So that's one. Um, the next one is I want to make at least one craft using beads a month. So that would be, I have a lot of beads, I have a lot of things that I want to make using them, and I really do enjoy using beads. I love working with paper more, but I do love um, using the beads. So that'll be um, something fun and interesting and different for me. Um, the next one is, these are kind of like all like goals for my social media. And so um, my social media for YouTube, I want to at least post three times a week, Mondays, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, and then I would love for my YouTube channel to grow to a thousand followers. I'm at like 744, I believe, and I will give a, I'm going to give a giveaway. It'll probably just be a gift card because with shipping and everything like that, like, I'm gonna, I'm really deciding what I want to do, but I will be doing a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. Um, the next one is my IG. So I really want to post every day on my IG, on my Crafty Fit IG channel. And so I have been kind of consistent with that. Um, and I want to meet some more, um, awesome followers on there. And then um, I also want to get my following up to 300 on IG because, and I probably will be doing a giveaway on that one as well. Um, and that'll probably, right now I'm at like 115 or something like that. So um, yeah, I would love to grow my following in, at the end of the year. So that is my goals this year uh, for the, uh, the, uh, the end of the half of the year. Um, I really am looking back. I just really changed like one goal, I think, of mine. And so 
you know, of course the budget I'm going to decide. And then of course the decorating. So <sighs> I will hopefully get to it and I will be showing you guys, um, probably in my next video, my goals video to show you guys what, um, where I'm at and kind of how I'm going to be tracking the last of the year and all that jazz. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for um, coming by and watching my video and for your support and your lovely comments. I've met so many awesome people through Instagram and Facebook um, and just all over the place um, So that are very, very crafty and very, very talented. And I would love to one day do half as what have as much as what these people do um but for right now these are my goals and i will see you guys in my next video bye